God Wears Lipstick, Kabbalah for Women, by Kabbalist Karen Berg. It speaks of itself as sort of a Kabbalistic Bible for women. Now, it doesn't really fit the term because it's a one-person book. A one-person book presented as a, sort of a scripture. But you can kind of think of it in terms of old, new, and final, or old, new, and another, more fitting in this context. We have sort of the wisdom teachings... Well, sort of actually, no, the knowledge teachings, the wisdom teachings, and the, um, well, what are you going to do with the teachings? Well, or what's your response to the teachings? We see that the role of women in what's called the Tanakh, the Law, the Writings, and the Prophets, is not so much, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not as sexist as it may initially appear. Women throughout whatever type of role that you're talking about, uh, the women the story play an important point. As much as the Bible does talk about shaming people, it's not about shame. It's not about guilt. It's about your own personal atonement, and that would be how it would differ from the Christian New Testament in that section, is that you're working on your relationship. You're working on your relationship with human beings, with God, with the rest of creation, um, the... Some stuff's talked about much in the way that people talk like about the Satanic Bible and stuff is that I wasn't really that I was converted. It was that the sort of stuff I believed was there. And reading in your own beliefs into text is something you've got to be careful of, also pulling out. So whether you're putting stuff in or taking stuff out that's not really there, you've got to be careful about how you attribute things if we're going to be honest with our spirituality. But there's interesting things in the use of language. And, well, I mean, this doesn't really go much into stuff like language. Um, but the, the, method, the method of it all allows you to look at situations, look at religious traditions, figure out things that sort of seem amazing compared, if you look at what we have now, how the rules have had to change with the times and other such things. <laughs>